Hey guys, just coming at you with a special video I'd like to make. Oh. I don't know if I should keep the music on all the time, I don't know. But basically it's Mega Man Battle Network 3. And uh, what I've done here is something a bit special. This is one of my favorite games of all time. But when it's this old, you always try to look for new ways to play it or reinvent it, make it more interesting. And to that end, I'm doing a playthrough right now just a couple of bosses, something I like to call the Horse Dominator. Now, the premise of this is you have 30 different chips or moves you can use in a folder. You have like 30, I think 30 cards in a deck of cards, and each card does something different. But I have 4 cards, rather, that uh, these horsies, and they just jump on you. Quite bad, but I think I can make it work using a couple of tricks and some know how. So, without further ado, let's chop him up. I don't have a horse, you can see right here. So, just set it up for now. I'll set up the battlefield. Not really working out right now, is it now? Just say, let's stall. You can stall. It's fine. Got hit? No matter, no matter. I have folder back, and what this does is it lets me uh, restore my folders. No matter. Boom, and we're back in business. And look. Our first horse. First horse of the match. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for him to use a move because we gotta be absolutely certain. Absolutely certain of his movements. Well, I guess I was <laughs> not absolutely certain of his movements. Little little error there. No matter. Just want to cycle through as many chips as possible. But unfortunate things are happening this way. But don't worry. All part of the all part of the process. You know, horse dominator. And we're gonna actually use the bug. Because I have eleven chips technically. Can always just reset and look for horses. Just keep doing that. It's just looking for a horse dominator. There we go. See? And things things are gonna look things are gonna look up for us. It might start off slow, but no one said this was a race. No one says this was a race. And we're gonna get our first hit out of the match. And I feel good about it. I feel good about that what's happening. Boom. We're gonna get our second shot. And here we are. Second shot of the match. Another another good horse. Little by little, that's how you dominate. You, li you dominate little by little. Some people think it's a, a fast thing, no. A lot of the hard-earned victories in war are won by attrition. And that's something just learn. Ooh, he moved funny there. That was unfortunate. I'm gonna take a metal thingy to the face, and that's also unfortunate. I was able to go invisible just in time. That was actually pretty crazy reflexes, but let horse. I was able to hit him there. I feel quite good about that. Let's repair that panel. And we have no horses right now, so we're just gonna go back, folder back. I'm gonna restart our folder and hopefully we get a horse. And what do you know? There's a horse. But we will cycle through some chips. 
to make just things go faster for us. Probably insert my own music. Probably insert some music after this battle. It's because you're gonna hear this song over and over and over again. I don't know how tired you guys might get of it. But I'll keep it on for this battle. I'll keep it on for this battle. And so far, Horse Dominator, Horse Dominating, Horse Domination, it's going well. That's what I have to say about this. I think I can offer you guys, you guys an alternative solution. One probably not going to come across very often. And I think I can do something pretty interesting here. Run with it. And that's why I find a lot of fun creative about these kind of games. You go back, like the... It seems like it's like the Nuzlocke challenge, both more horses. Right? And we don't have any horses, so let's just fold her back. Ooh, he's gonna smash me there. So we gotta visit another fold back. And here's our ticket of victory. The horse. And this is gonna be it. That's not gonna be it, is it? Just kidding, we got another horse right here. That's unfortunate. You cannot spawn something like a projectile in the same circle, or same uh, square that something else is standing, unfortunately. So that's why my uh, the second horse failed. Just gonna wait for him. Don't worry. You're just gonna wait. It's no rush. No rush. And here we are. Here we are. That's what it is. Took us a while, took us a bit of a time, took us a bit of time, but look, we did fairly poorly. Now, that was pretty good, in the sense that uh, I was able to kill him. That actually took a while. That horse domination took a while, but you know what? Let's keep on going, let's keep on going. <laughs> because there's... What's, what's horse domination without the challenge? To dominate. Fun and dominating. Is seeking hard opponents and challenging yourself. That's part of what the fun is. And I do not remember entirely some of these bosses' attack patterns, as is evidenced by how I entirely missed my attacks there. But that's of little consequence. That's of little consequence, because the fun thing about this game is. That was unfortunate. I missed. One thing about this game, coming back to it some years later, is just figuring out what works. What what things that aren't the best work. That's what's fun about it. Because it's really easy to use the combo folders. These are really strong folders, right? And I didn't get them there. That's unfortunate. It's really easy to use what's best in order to win. It's probably a smart choice, too. Let's wait for him to shift back to the back panel. There we go. We've got him on the ropes now. You're pretty hard to miss a horse. As I just did. But we have, that's why we have folder back. So 
some bosses you will see harder than others. And that's not a problem, that's not an issue for us. Because... It's okay, my timing a bit off. I'm not going to lie, my timing is fairly poor right now. Quite bad, but you know what they say. Uh, it's called horseplay for a reason. It's not that serious. But let's keep going. Let's keep going, and let's see how far we can get. Let's see what what we can accomplish. What we do have, and I, I think we can get something pretty. Neat going. Something pretty interesting going here. I think we actually stun lock him. That might be our best bet. Just take a step back from everything. There we go. That was that's that's what we need. We need a bit of ingenuity when we're facing harder bosses. Because the the chips really determine context of the battle and when you have something completely different like a this kind of folder of course the context of the battle is gonna be a bit weird a bit loose And you'll see our area grabs, they went back. Ah, we hit him again. See, things are going our way. Just need some patience. That's what horse domination is all about. It's a bit like actual horses. Have you ever ridden one? I've had the opportunity at a, the farm of a family friend in Pennsylvania not too far from his house and it was really rewarding really cool coming from a city not really experiencing that kind of thing really get a sense how powerful these creatures are how temperamental they can be just bah, there's winning win and neighing Freaks. Absolute four-legged freaks. They misbehave. I feel like they're an animal that just misbehaves. That's what horses are. Don't worry, don't worry though. We, we got this. One step at a time. And we got him on the ropes. He's stunned. That was unfortunate. Despite his stun, we were not able to kill him. So let's try that again. And here we go. This guy is about to get slammed. He didn't get slammed. I'm the one getting slammed. It's unfortunate. But, we're gonna keep going. That's what horse domination is all about. That's what horses is all about. Riding a horse. We need a certain level of endurance to do this. We need to the horse. And that's what it is. Coming back to this game after how long? I don't- oh, I do hit him there. Ah, uh, he shields when he is in his little spherical ball. Taking a bit of damage, but since I'm grass-type on the grass, I will heal slowly. Not the end of the world. Sometimes people fall off horses when they ride. That's- that's whatever. It happens. It happens. 
And we're just gonna, look, fold her back, fold her back, no worries. Get back, fall off the horse, get back up on the horse. Just don't feel bad. I think I actually recycled one of my horses there. That was a mistake. <sighs> okay, well we're back, we're back, look. We have a horse. We can do some damage. We can do some damage. There, look. Nice damage, some nice damage. We got off some nice damage. I don't know what I did there. That was a mistake. But don't worry. Don't worry about it. Not a problem for us. That was a big mistake as well. Not a problem. See? Only a problem if you stress about it. Problems offer... Things about a video game, you gotta think about it a bit differently when you do these kind of things. Like a real life, not like a real life problem, not that severe. World isn't over. You can get your folder back. Your folder back. I think I... I don't know what I saw blinking there. And he's stunned. That's another another good chunk of damage on him. No no horse, unfortunately, but we're gonna heal up and use folder back. No area grab, that's fine. That's fine. It's not a problem. Okay. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. It's not that big of a deal. It's all about the tempo. It's all about the tempo. Now I do regret to inform you that I can't go through all the bosses immediately. I can't do that. Because some of them this is the post game. And not all of them spawn where you're, they're supposed to. You can't just this game right now. I can't just go around and say, "I want this boss. I want that boss." Not really how it works. But that's a problem for us. Ooh, he's probably gonna dodge this. Probably gonna dodge this one. That's okay. That's right. And you do get a bit lenient, so you see the horse barely moved. I don't know how many frames went by, one or two. Not many. Not many at all. You don't have to worry about this kind of thing. Wow, we actually got him there. Unfortunately, I thought he was going to spawn a bit further down. I thought he was going to spawn here. Not he thought. It's okay, it's okay. He is roughly, if I get an attack boost on the next horse, he's on the ropes. You're wondering, I'm not going to use this chip ever, it's just filler. It does damage. I thought, oh, I use it to stop myself from getting hurt, but it does significant damage. Enough damage. See? That's what I'm talking about. I don't, because I spawned it inside of him while he was gone. And I didn't realize that would do damage to him. See? They play this kind of game. That's what domination's about. That's what domination is about. Mastery of not only the enemy, but of your own talents. Mastery not only over the enemy, but your own talents. And this fight would have gone dramatically differently at the beginning if I had known of this tech. And like, that's the beauty of horse domination.
where the game just opens up in an entirely different dimension. All thanks to some pretty interesting choices a player can make. And we're going to see him get taken out here. And it did take us a while. I don't think the time on screen, I think it's way... It must be in-game time, because it took much longer than 2 minutes and 48 seconds to take out this horse. Uh, take out this guy, my horse. See, even the best custom model can be taken out with a horse. He's been impressed with our technique. Now... He says this every time you beat him, but really takes on a different meaning. An entirely different meaning. When you play with a horse domination mindset. And we're at the zoo right now, so you can see different animals. A condor. Statue-like. No animals in here. Another. Because the animals in this game are microchipped. Paul was sent back home. Oh yeah, I forget. Uh, the world is ending in the game, so all the animals are sent back, except for the panda. Pretty, pretty cool. But, that's what it is. Every animal you see has a bit of uniqueness to it, and the horse does as well. And... That's the point of this little playthrough. This one's 22 minutes, so I'm probably going to cut it off around here. But, I will, I will venture. Actually, I'll leave it in the subway. Leave it in the subway. Save. And... Glad you could join me. For a horse domination series, we're definitely gonna do the rest of the boss fights that we can do. I can't remember how many there are left, but I feel like there are enough. I can make two more episodes of this. There must be Bull Man, Guts Man, Proto Man, King Man and Alpha. I feel like those are the ones left. You can run into bosses occasionally, but that's more of a random thing. And it would take very long to go through all the random bosses and fight them, just in the wild. So unfortunately, probably those four left. But hopefully, I can show you new techniques, new ways to play the game, and hopefully make the night a bit more appealing. This is Horse Dominator signing off.